We both have to prove ourselves. This is the time. The time is now. 2022. Everything happened. Talk about the past if you want. February 5th, new stories are being created. You know, February 5th is the night of boxing you don't want to miss. You know, the whole card is very exciting. You know, I'm honored to be, you know, fighting amongst, you know, the, these other guys. But, I mean, the main event, you know, it's, it's one that, that you do not want to miss out on. Belt, no belt. I'm here to excite you. I'm here to excite you and you and you. February 5th, it's your boy Keith One Time Thurman. We're coming back. Okay, welcome back to Boxing on the Edge. Thank you for tuning in as always. Welcome aboard any new subscribers. And thank you as always for any current subscribers tuning in to the content. Another good fight this coming Saturday, February the 5th. Let's talk about it. Keith One Time Thurman returns to the ring fighting Mario El Azteca Barrios in a welterweight division clash. Both guys coming off a loss. Mario Barrios is a former WBA world champion. Keith Thurman obviously a former welterweight champion himself. Lost his belt to Pacquiao. Looking to redeem himself. Barrios is looking to make a statement in his first appearance at the welterweight division. Let's talk about the actual fight and the fighters. Okay, so yes, this coming Saturday, the return of Keith One Time Thurman. He's been out the ring a couple of years and he's been getting a little stick for being out the ring. And if you're an American or if you don't understand what that means, it just means a bit of light abuse, okay? Um, which I find it unnecessary because I, I'm, I like the fact Keith Thurman's taking time off, to be honest with you. If you want to go and play the flute, go and play the flute. <laughs> you know, I, as a as a music lover and a creative person, I'm I'm all for that. So, big up Keith Thurman. He was he had some injuries. He's taking a little time off doing what he needs to do. He's back in the ring. So, you know, boxing's a grind, and I, I respect the fact he's he's regrouping. So, um, let's talk about the fighters, and then we'll get onto the fight plan a little bit later on, where I'll break down, uh, you know, the fight plan, and then I'll throw a prediction in there as well. But in terms of the fight itself, uh, both guys coming off a loss and Mario Barras, his first appearance at the welterweight division, the, uh, you know, he lost to Javante Davis prior to that and then prior to that, he or two fights prior to that, he won the WBA title at 140 in controversial fashion. Um, I'll talk about that when I when I talk about Mario Barrios, but let's start with uh, Keith One Time Thurman. So yeah, I'm excited for Keith Thurman's return. Uh, he sounds juvenile. He sounds relaxed. He looks relaxed. He looks confident. Although I said that um, in the Gary Russell fight, and then two days later, Gary Russell came out saying he had an injury. So hopefully Keith Thurman doesn't have an injury. Hopefully he's you know ready for this fight on Saturday. You know, we know Keith Thurman been around the welterweight division a while, fought some top guys, had some good wins, trained by Dan Birmingham, you know, obviously formerly he was trained by Ben Getty, and now Dan Birmingham's handled him a little bit, who was the trainer of Winky Wright, um, fighting out of Florida, and Keith Thurman, I've always enjoyed, you know, his, his uh, in and out of the ring interviews and fighting, you know, respectively. I think he, he brings a lot to boxing and I enjoy an articulate, good fighter, to be honest with you. So, uh, he has had some um, unconvincing performances as of late. Uh, well, you know, the, the performance against Pacquiao went a bit wrong for him. I think tactically he got that completely wrong and never quite clawed himself out of the, the uh, deficit he got himself in. And then against Jose Cito Lopez, I mean, he looked like he was on the verge of getting stopped. I mean, when Keith Thurman gets hurt, he gets hurt. The whole world knows he gets hurt. He doesn't hide it very well. 
Um, but that's what makes him exciting, I guess, too. He's, he's a little vulnerable or very vulnerable, especially downstairs. So I'm sure Barrios and his team will get, will look to capitalize on that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm very excited to see Keith Furman back and I will be watching this with the intrigue. So moving on to his opponent, Mario El Azteca Barrios, who is a nice, nice young man. You know, he, he looks ready and confident, although in an interview that I saw with him, he did seem a little bit sort of a bit too pleased to be at the big stage, you know. Um, I could get that completely wrong and maybe he'll grab it with both hands, but it seemed like he was just happy to be there, you know. And you really want to see a fighter grab it, you know, grab the opportunity with both hands and really be like, yeah, I'm here. But he, he was very grateful and that's fine, you know, obviously. But I, 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 part of me is thinking, is he just getting you know, lined up to, to bring the return back of Keith Thurman by his promotion or, or, or the PBC. You know, that happens in boxing. I'm not saying it's a fix or anything. I'm just saying it looks like he's been brought in as a lower guy to, to reboost Keith Thurman's return. I could be completely wrong. But, and I'd like to see Barrios, and I think he will give Thurman some issues early on. And like I said, I'll talk about that in the fight plan in a little bit, but, I like Mario Barrios, you know, he's a, he's a good, neat, clean boxer. He has Virgil Hunter. He's been with Virgil Hunter for quite a few years now. And at one stage they had, I think, eight or nine knockouts in a row. So he can punch a little bit, but his, his work is tidy. He's a good counter puncher. You know, he's very clean. He, he can react to a punch and then come back with two shots and then move his head again. I love seeing that. And I like it when fighters, you know, go downstairs and he can do that, which is going to play a part, I think. He can definitely sling that left hook into the body, whether it be on the front foot or whether it be counter punching. So he poses some interesting um, problems for Keith Thurman. You know, obviously he's a much smaller guy. He's uh, He actually started his career at a super bantamweight. And Thurman started at like, you know, welterweight or maybe even junior middleweight. So Thurman is a much bigger guy. But Barrios, you know, he's game. He's got a lot of heart in the WBA title that he won. And you can go back and watch this fight and look for yourself. But by the end of the fight, I mean, even when the scorecards were getting read out, if you looked at his face, <laughs> I'm not necessarily talking about the damage that was done because there was, a tr it didn't even look like him. He did not look like a man that thought he'd won. Look at his body language and look at his eyes. You know, that's not a reaction you get when you win a world title, okay? Um, so I think he, he, you know, that kind of speaks volumes to who he is. He seems like a good, honest man, but like, you're not gonna hardly tell everybody you lost. But I think deep down he knew he didn't win that fight um, against Akhmedov. But, you know, he's here now. He's, um, like I said, coming off a loss. But I think he could cause some problems for Keith Thurman early on. So speaking of that, we'll get into the fight plan right now. So Keith Thurman is... Uh, <clears throat> A smart fighter, okay, he's very intelligent and he often, you know, he can fight on the front foot, front foot and on the back foot and um, sometimes he's, he's better going forwards because I, I don't think he really likes being pressured that much. I think he, not, he likes a little bit of time and space and um, I think what's, if I was Barrios' team or Barrios, I think his, his, Barrios' activity has been higher. So his timing should be better and he relies on his timing and he's good at it, you know? So I think in the early rounds, I'd look to, I'd look to see Barrios nicely do some nice counter punching and sharp shots and really make Keith Thurman think about things. Cause I, I have a feeling Thurman is gonna come out and put the heat on early too, because he did that against Danny Garcia and, you know, same way that Cambosis did it against Lopez, 
where it's a psychological thing, you know, you're coming out and you, you're putting some hurt on your opponent, it gets in their head early, especially if Barrios is a smaller, younger fighter, welcome to the welterweight division, you know, and Keith Thurman, I think he can punch a little bit, I think it's a bit overrated his power, but when you're talking about a smaller guy, he should be able to hurt Barrios, and I think he might try to do that early. So I think Barrios, it's in his favor to keep his punches straight and short because Keith Thurman has a lot of wide shots and Barrios has a fairly orthodox stance and style and um, Barrios, where Thurman's punches will get in round the outside and I, I think Thurman's going to try to do that too. He, he throws a lot of wide shots, a barrage of wide hooks. Barrios can do the same and throw the shots in between those wide shots, you know, and maybe he'll get there quicker. It's going to be a very intriguing first few rounds. I think it really will. Um, whether Barrios can sustain that, I think the later the fight the, it goes, I think it will favour Keith Thurman more. I think he'll come on and I think he'll get his timing and his rhythm back after being slightly inactive. And I do th I do think, um, you know, Barrios' is game, he's, he's a very tough dude. And I think he's going to probably end up getting stopped. I would be... Surprised if Thurman didn't really try to get him out of there, you know, he's gonna probably want to make a statement And like I said, he doesn't have to make a statement if you win and you move on the big fights are still there, but I think he'd want to given that Barrios is Not a welterweight, you know, and he just got stopped by Davis So the pressure will be on for him to do the same thing earlier. So I think It's kind of a like when when people are when Two fighters have lost and Keith Thurman hasn't looked good for a few years and he hasn't knocked out these people and he had a last performance that was good was against Danny Garcia in 2017. You know, it's kind of a, a hard one to call, but I'd imagine Keith Thurman will get him out of there between six and eight, maybe six and nine. But I do think it's going to get pretty heated uh, for Barrios at some point, but I think he'll have some success earlier, Barrios. From what I said, from based on his timing and his his um, activity and his short, crisp shots and keeping them straight, as opposed to Thurman's wider shots, I think there'll be something there. And if he can get one of those sneaky body shots in, the whole world will know that Keith Thurman's hurt because <laughs> he, like I said, he doesn't hide it. But that's my prediction. That's my fight breakdown. Um, I still. I'm not no, super confident in that because I, I'd love to see where Thurman is. It's hard when someone's been out the ring for so long. But if I was a gambling man, which I am not, I would put money on Barrios. These are just my opinions. You know, uh, sorry, money on Thurman. <laughs> between between six and eight, maybe six and nine. Uh, hopefully it's a good fight. Hopefully both guys come out the ring healthy. That's all I really care about. And I hope it's entertaining and I hope we all enjoy it as boxing fans, you know, and that's all you can ask for. Anyway, that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think if you have any different opinions or the same opinions about how the fight's going to go. Is Barrios ready for this? Is Thurman, you know, rejuvenated? Is he going to come back and do what he used to do? So let me know in the comments section below. Have a great week. Boxing on the Edge. I'll see you soon. Boxing, Stone Edge, Stone Edge.